Good day, my friends, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name is Chris, and I'm the Batman Statue Collector, and welcome back to one of my little car side chats. Again, if it's your first time viewing, these chats are just me hanging out with my car, uh, talking to you, find folks about things that are on my mind or things that have come up. Um, and this particular one stems from a conversation that I had with a statue company. Um, and particular, particularly, if I could say that right, uh, it was uh, Prime One Studio, okay? And the conversation we had was based on my video that I did also, I think it was a car side chat, where I talked a little bit about um, is it still worth it to have next level events? And in my opinion, yes, it was still absolutely worth it. Um, but some people kind of chimed in, some people were you know, positive, some were negative as, as we always get, you know. But um, so this spawned on this conversation that we were having about kind of like the state of statues and the state of the world and uh, the state of collecting in general. And so I thought I'd pass that along to you guys. I thought I would like, because I thought it would be interesting uh, to talk about. Um, so the thing that we talked about was the fact that sometimes when we see things on pre-order or we see things teased, we don't see it up for pre-order for a great deal of time sometimes a year, sometimes two years later, um, and, and that sort of thing, right? Um, and we always, of course, not hearing from the statue companies, we always just speculate, we guess. And sometimes speculation can be way, way worse than anything <laughs> that is actually true. Um, so again, I was having this conversation, um, and one point that was brought up is it's all about timing. And it's all about factories, okay? There are only a certain number of factories to go around. And there's a pecking order. Um, you know, certain companies use this factory, certain companies use this factory. Um, and also, depending on turnaround times or how big the order is, okay? If you have an order of 10,000 pieces, that's going to take a lot longer than an order of 500 pieces. Just makes sense, right? So I think that's why we've seen some turnaround time really fast from companies like Prime One. Uh, the Punchline, George Menace Joker, great example. That thing was out really fast, and it was out early, which is great for a collector. You know, we don't like to wait two years, but, you know, factory issues, okay? The ESs, is, there's not as many to make, right? But sometimes it's all about timing of when the factories are available, okay? So let's say that they have... Uh, the Batman Batcave, okay, the Gabriel Del Auto. It just went up for pre-order recently. But it was teased a long, long, long time ago, okay? So why did it take so long to get on pre-order? Well, the factory, I mean, they knew they were going to have a, a sizable order of that piece. It was a popular piece. They could tell right away. But they have to wait for the right moment for when the factory is going to be available to be able to produce that. They can't just go, okay, it's up for pre-order. Start making it now doesn't always work that way they they might be beholden to somebody else okay so that that is the first thing the second part of that which I thought was really interesting with this conversation uh, and again this is why we want to relay we relay it to you guys so the the community understands is that there are only a certain number of painters to go around okay these people are incredibly incredibly talented I hope they're paid well um, Lord knows they wouldn't be paid well here in the United States. I hope they're paid well in China where these factories are. But there's only a certain number of these painters. And they are very, very skilled. Yes, we nitpick about this and that with paint. But overall, the paint applications are incredible. Absolutely incredible. There's a few misses here and there, sure. But man, the paint is incredible. So you have to pay that person. You have to train that person. And there's only a certain amount of those people around. I was also told that a lot of younger people are not getting into that business. A lot of younger people are not going into painting and want to do that kind of work. So who's left to do it? A smaller and smaller group of people all the time. And when you have a smaller group of people painting, that affects factories, that affects factory time, that affects turnaround time and all that other good stuff, right? So I, I thought that was very insightful because I think that, again, we speculate a lot about why companies take so long to do this, why companies take so long to do that. 
first of all, these pieces are in, de in development for years. They don't just like say, on Monday, this is what we wanna do, let's show it to everybody on Tuesday, let's get it to the factory on Thursday. It doesn't work that way. There is a process, and the process is way more complicated than we usually understand. There's so many people involved, so many cogs in the wheel, licenses, license approval. You might put something out and it might say at the bottom, pending license approval. That means they have to wait for the license holder to say yay or nay. And they might say, well, we want these 20 more changes. So then again, it delays everything. And then once that's delayed, then you have to say, okay, now is the factory available? Well, the factory is gonna be available in seven months and we can handle an order of 700 at that time. Well, crap, we wanna do more than 700, so now we gotta wait a year and a half to get the factory we want, okay? So all of that makes sense to me. So we can complain, we can nitpick, we can get our pitchforks and, and torches out, but it's, it's nice to hear from the company and try to have some insight as to why things are the way they are. And every company is different, uh, again, even some of the stuff I'm talking about might be speculation as well. But again, this was just a great conversation I had, um, again, with somebody at Prime One, and I appreciate their insight because otherwise we speculate. And I think the community sometimes just needs to understand that we have to be patient. Does it suck to wait? Sure. Do we want stuff yesterday? Mm-hmm. Yep. I, I'm, I'm way guilty of that. I wanted stuff seven weeks ago. But sometimes we have to be patient be positive knowing that we're still going to get really great quality stuff. Um, but there are reasons why sometimes they don't go up for pre-order or they're not shown or maybe they're teased and never come out. There's lots of different factors. Okay. So anyway, that's my thought. I just want to share that with you guys. That's me rambling about uh, that topic, but hopefully that helps some of you understand or maybe give you a little bit of you insight um, as to why things are the way they are. Um, let me know your thoughts down below. As always, I like to read them and uh, I try to respond to as many as possible. Uh, you know, it's, it's hard. The bigger the channel gets, the harder it is because so many people are commenting. But I try as, as hard as I can to get to each and every one of you. Um, if, and maybe if it's not this video, hopefully it'll be in the next one. Um, but your, your impact or your, um, your input, sorry, you have an impact. But your input um, really matters to me. So uh, I really appreciate your thoughts and, you know, I cannot thank you guys enough for your continued support on this channel. You guys are absolutely incredible. I cannot do this without you. Um, and I want to remind you, as I always do, that you are special. You are unique. Don't ever, um, don't ever change. Just be who you are. Be proud of who you are. Um, but always be positive um, and leave the world better than you found it. Okay? Help somebody out. Help your neighbor. Be a hero. Okay? Be a hero to somebody. All right. I love you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the back cave. Bye, everybody. Hey, guys. Thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also, please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the back cave.